Hi everyone, this is Amanda from Little Crafty Peel. Welcome back to my channel. And today I want to show you three different ways to use a floral stamp to make a card. My first impulse when I have a floral stamp in my hands is to color the flowers, either with Copics, with pencils or with watercolors, but just color them. Now, if you don't want to color or you don't like to color or you don't have the time to color, there are other ways you can use floral stamps to make really nice cards. So I will be using the same floral stamp today to make three different cards that use three different techniques. This is the stamp set I'm using today. It's new by Waffle Flower and it comes with coordinating dies. I really appreciate that they are already cut out because I kind of hate cutting out die cuts. And I'm also using this die cut for the background and also this stencil. So all of these are new products by Waffle Flower from their April 2021 release and I'm really honored to be joining them for their release blog hop today. So if you want more information, you can go over to my blog. The link is below the video together with all the supplies that I'm going to be using today. So the first way I'm using this stamp set today is the obvious one, which is coloring the flowers. I'm using Copic markers and if you want to skip all the coloring, you can jump to minute 405.
As you can see here, I have already moved on to the second card. I'm creating a colorful background using distress inks and a stencil. And once I'm done with that, I will white hit and bow some flowers on vellum paper. That's another way to use your floral stamps without having to color. And it is one of my favorites. So that's done. I know these cards are looking a bit plain right now. I will be adding details later. But for now, let's move on to the next card and another way to use your floral stamps without coloring. So this one is really simple. You just need to stamp your image and then blend your favorite colors over it. And I know it sounds basic, but I personally really like how it turns out.
As you can see here, I added a few details to the other two cards and that's it for today. I hope you liked it. Thank you so, so much for watching. And remember that I have more information in the description box. You can find a link to my blog if you want more information about today's blog hub and also all the supplies are listed there. And you will also find a visual supply list in the first comment. So have a great day and see you again soon. Bye.